fun. Fashion felines. Join spa living and style expert Candy Holiday as she trips through her days while trying to flourish, look fab and have a blast, even when life gets in her way. Let's make every day feel like a holiday. Hey y'all, it's Candy. I just got back from the Oaks at Ojai and I can't wait to tell y'all all about it. I've been to Ojai several times before and I knew the spa was there, but I had never seen it. And what's unique about it is the architecture is the same stucco arches that all of the shops and boutiques in the center of Old Ojai are. So it just blends right in. It's so cool because then, you know, you can go and visit the boutiques and art galleries and, you know, just go for strolls in town if you want, or you can stay at the Oaks. <laughs> so I can tell you, it's difficult to leave once you're there. <laughs> Because you know, a lot of other spas I've been to tend to be in more remote locations, so you don't really have that option. When I arrived at the Oaks, I felt like it was more than just a retreat. I felt like it was more than a spa. It was almost like you're walking into a friend's living room. Like you go through these double doors, and there's this gorgeous wood paneled room with this richly patterned carpeting, overstuffed sofas that surround this massive fireplace. And there was a fire crackling in there right when I arrived. And it just makes you feel so like warm. And I love that right when I arrived, the receptionist was so kind. First of all, they had saved a lunch for me because I called to say we we're gonna be there like right about the time lunch was meant to finish, but they put it aside and saved it for me. Isn't that so nice? And also they asked me right away about my food needs. And so Christine, who is the food service director, came right out, took me to her office, and we just sat down and went over like everything she had in her fridge <laughs> and what the menu was for the week and she came up with alternatives that met my dietary need and then before every meal you just go to your mailbox you have a special little slip with your meal choice on it take it into the dining room give it to the server and they bring you your meal no muss no fuss it's just awesome because I know as a person that has food allergies and things that sometimes when you make special requests it feels like stress, right? It feels like work to have to think about it at every meal. And this way, you just don't have to think about it for the rest of your trip. So after we got all checked in, we went to the Libby Lounge where they brought our lunch. And it was, it's this beautiful room. It has giant glass windows that overlook the pool and the grounds and the mountains. It just couldn't be a more gorgeous rejuvenating view <laughs> and that what they brought for our very first lunch was chicken pita salad it was delicious and the, the greens were like really fresh it tasted like they had just come out of the garden I mean it's just so amazing they seem to be able to just sense like what I wanted or what I needed <laughs> And not only the staff, like even the other guests, because when we arrived, you know, I'm, especially when I arrive at a new place, I always tend to be a little bit shy at first and sort of want to just keep to myself and settle in and get the bearings of my surroundings. And when I was having lunch in the Libby Lounge, there were other guests that were there in their robes, having lunch, having some coffee, and they just seemed to totally get that I was settling in. And can I tell you, I really needed to settle in <laughs> because my purpose for going to the Oaks is I've had a lot of things going on this year and you know how life gets and you just sort of let your health go, let your healthy eating habits, exercise habits go. That's why I really wanted to go and kind of get back on my schedule and just tune out all that other noise, all that extraneous, all those extraneous things. And speaking of settling in, let me tell y'all about my room. Oh my gosh, I had a spa mini suite and all of the rooms are on one level. They're kind of scattered around the grounds of the oaks. And it's so charming. It feels like you're in a little Mediterranean village. And even when I walked to the front door, I was already blown away because it was my favorite kind of door. It was that Spanish style with the arch at the top and it was really rich, heavy wood. And I walked in to this entryway, which had this incredible floor to ceiling window that looked out onto this patio. And the patio had two chaise lounges out there. It was all landscaped. All I could see was greenery and 
Birds of Paradise. And from the entry hallway, you go into the bedroom and that's where there's a double door. It leads out to the patio. I went out in the patio first thing because I love outdoor spaces so much. And there is a fountain out there and you can actually hear the fountain from your bed. So at night, even if you have the door closed, you could hear the fountain. And the beds were all plush. They were so comfy. I immediately sat on it to see how firm it was because I have a thing about I love great beds. <laughs> and it was super comfortable. I mean, super comfortable. And so then I went and checked out. There's also a dressing area with like a little vanity where you could do your makeup. And that was separate from the bathroom. The bathroom, y'all, it had a, a built-in shower and it also had a tub. And it was not just any tub, <laughs> it was a jetted tub, but unlike other jetted tubs I've seen where it has those, the, the big jets like in the side, these were little small jets like all around the entire tub. And not only that, it had light, <laughs> like literally it had this light that changed the colors you could have on while you were in the tub. It was just to die. And they had the ballet class starting at two and y'all, if you go to the Oaks, you've got to try their dance classes, at least one. And don't be afraid if you've never danced before. <laughs> Just like everything there, they cater to all levels. And you will not feel embarrassed. Everyone's just like, come as you are. And it's really all about having fun. But after that, I really, really won't lie. I just wanted to kind of acclimate and walk around the spa and just kind of get a feel for where I was and just be nosy and check out everything that was there that they had to offer. <laughs> and when we arrived, they were having a local artist exhibiting her jewelry out in front of the of spa boutique. And it was really beautiful. So I, I went out there and checked that out and spoke with her a little bit. I mean, it almost felt like that was there just for me. <laughs> That's how I felt about the whole trip. Honestly, I felt like everything that was there was like just for me. And so I went around the pool. It's, the pool is heated to 84 degrees year round <laughs> because believe it or not, it does get chilly in California and it felt yummy and it has this really great, it's one of the sail awnings. Have y'all ever seen these? It's really unique. It, it's it's a, sun, a sunshade. It looks like a big sail. And the rest of the afternoon, I just kind of took it easy because dinner starts at six. And then there was a workshop on eating healthy for the holidays with Christine, uh, the food service director. And it was kind of funny because it was a pretty full class and it was an hour before dinner. I think we were all starting to get hungry during the class though, because Christine made, she made chocolate mousse. Believe it or not, there is a spa version of chocolate mousse and all of these dips. And actually one of the dips turned out to be my favorite thing, which was the spicy pumpkin dip. And did you all know that if you eat a dish at the Oaks that you just love, you can ask Christine, the food service director, to send you the recipe and she'll email you the recipe. Kind of like taking the Oaks home with you. <laughs> because can I tell you, there was this carrot flan. Oh my God. I mean, because I eat a lot of vegetables and sometimes you just get bored with having vegetables the same way. This almost tasted like dessert. Well, not almost. <laughs> it seriously tasted like dessert. And you know anyone that can make a vegetable taste like dessert, that is someone I want to be sure to be able to, <laughs> to tap their brain. But after dinner, I was just hankering to veg out in the spa and the sauna, sit by the great big old fireplace in the lobby lounge. So I put on my robe <laughs> and headed out to the to that fireplace and it's funny because sometimes you, you, know, you might think oh I might feel self-conscious walking around in a robe but at the Oaks it's totally come as you are I mean I didn't feel like I had to put makeup on I didn't feel like I had to dress up to the nines wherever I went I just felt really at home <laughs> like I said like I was just staying at a friend's house and where the living room lounge is there's also right beside that this hallway that leads to the um, Libby Lounge and to the pool and to the fitness equipment and the fitness rooms. And that hallway is so fun. <laughs> 
because they have bookcases with books that you could read. They also have local artists, paintings and sculptures, and they were really, really good. And actually, some of the paintings that were there while I was there were by um, Sheila Clough, who is the founder of the Oaks. And there's also this little area where they have games, board games. <laughs> they had Payday and Trivial Pursuit and Scrabble. So I sat by the fireplace for a little bit and then I headed into the wet areas, which is where the sauna and steam room and jacuzzi are. And I had the place all to myself. So here's a little tip. <laughs> if you go to the Oaks, go there later in the evening. I went there, I went into this sauna area around 9 p.m. There was no one else there. It was like my own private spa. <laughs> so the next day was my only full day at the Oaks. <laughs> so sad, I know. <laughs> and what's really interesting and so clever is that the Oaks lays out every day basically the same way. They start it with a walk, there's a morning stretch, there's breakfast, and there are cardio and strength training classes in the morning. So you can theoretically, if you want to, get all of that work, we'll call it, although it does not feel like work one little bit, out of the way in the morning, and then the afternoon you could have free, like if you want to go stroll around the town. And you definitely have to do one of the walks, y'all. I went and did the history stroll, and that takes you around the town of Ojai, led by this really nice gentleman who explains the history of the town, and it just gives you a greater appreciation for where you are. And I just love that about the Oaks, that it's really a part of the community. It's not like a place that was just planted there. It's been there for a very, very long time. It actually started out as a hotel. After my walk, went and had breakfast. They served breakfast buffet style, and I had fruit and a hard-boiled egg. And some. they have really incredible gluten-free muffins, <laughs> which is followed by the morning stretch. And the stretch classes are so rejuvenative, restorative. They're not about like who's the, mo the biggest rubber band, right? <laughs> so right after the stretch class, which is awesome because you're all warmed up, was a dance class, uh, the Mega Mix with Elizabeth. And if she's teaching while you're there, take her class. <laughs> it is so much fun and no intimidation, no worries. Just go in there and move and have a really good time. There was one of the guests that was there. She had this cute little dance skirt that she brought with her and wore and I just thought that was so much fun. And I felt like I got a really good workout. And then I wanted to wait to do my conditioning because they had a core conditioning class in the afternoon. So I waited till the afternoon to take that instead of doing everything in the morning. So after my dance class, I decided to go have a stroll over at the Ojai Market because Christine had mentioned in our food workshop that they had a little farmer's market in Ojai. We went over to it and it was so charming. And they had a lot of fresh produce and vegetables. There were flowers. There were people that were making soap. It was really interesting. And it was cool to meet some of the locals, too. And the dinner that night, oh, y'all, that was the night that they had the carrot flan. <laughs> It was so delicious, but not only that, they also had a spinach frittata, and Christine had them make one without the crust for me. Wasn't that awesome? That was actually my favorite meal that we had while we were there. And after dinner, they had a lecture on feng shui, which I was only able to say for about half of it because I had a spa appointment booked, dun dun dun, <laughs> and but the um. The teacher was so kind. She, you know, they understand that everyone has different things they're doing while they're there, and there's never any worries with like coming in late, except for in the middle of the stretch classes or the evening relaxation. They definitely don't want anyone to come in late because it would, you know, disturb the the quiet of the of the class. But I did pick up a few tips <laughs> from the feng shui. One of the big ones is. Um, to avoid having corners in your rooms pointing at you. So like if you are, if your bed is directly facing, let's say like the corner of a dresser or something, um, that can provide negative energy towards you, that point. And there are different ways that you can negate those effects. 
Really, really fascinating. I was so sorry I had to leave early, <laughs> um, but I had to get back to my room to change into my robe to go to the spa. And at the spa services, I actually love how the layout is at the Oaks because the spa services are away from the locker room and the wet areas. A lot of spas, they have the wet areas and the sauna all right there in the same place as the actual spa treatment rooms. And sometimes that can be noisy, but at the Oaks, you are in a totally separate part of the building. And so it's very, very quiet and tranquil. And more importantly, you're not going to have your massage or facial like interrupted <laughs> by some harsh noises. And I had chosen to have the Vita D facial by Skin Authority. And I'd never tried Skin Authority products before, but my skin was so clogged up. <laughs> I was really excited to, to test it out. And it was really awesome. She did, you know, cleansing, a scrub, a steam. I had a mask. She extracted a few icky blackheads from my nose. <laughs> and my therapist was really just sweet and kind. She just put me right at ease. And she was an amazing facial massager too. <laughs> because as part of this treatment, you get a facial massage and you get this thing they call the eye lift. And they use a little machine. It has like a little tip on it. And they place that around your eye area, kind of dot it. And it, it has like a vibrating feeling. And it makes your eyes feel so tingly and good. <laughs> and seriously, afterwards, I looked in the mirror and I was like, wow. <laughs> I mean, my eyes totally looked just brighter. And, and I think I'm addicted to that machine. I think I have to find out what they used. <laughs> It was like the perfect thing just to put me right to sleep. And this is another thing. If you go to the Oaks, if you can, try to book your spa appointment right before you go to sleep. And you will sleep like a baby. The next day was my last day at the Oaks. So sad. <laughs> um, just, I, I was feeling like I was really fitting in, feeling like everyone was my family. It was just such a wonderful feeling. And here's something really incredible. They'll let you stay on your last day through the end of the relaxing stretch class. And you know, if you don't know that, you know, you may schedule your flight or your travels to leave earlier in the day, but don't. Oh my gosh, y'all, book it however you have to <laughs> so you can stay and get the maximum benefit. And, and enjoy that last relax, relaxing stretch class because that was the only day that I did the relaxing stretch class. And it, it, was, it was more like a guided meditation. It wasn't like pretzel-y kind of yoga. It was more awareness of how you were feeling. And what better time to be aware of that than right before you're going back out, you know, back out into the world. <laughs> And I am so glad I took them up on it too, because in addition to the relaxing stretch class, they had a guest lecturer on how to age well. And she actually has a special on PBS about longevity and aging well. And it was so fun because after her presentation, we all got together and sat around this table. It was sort of like Girl Scout camp <laughs> and got to chat about different ways that we were coping with the changes in our lives. And I picked up some really great ideas. And most of the, the gals that were there, this was like their third or fourth time. They, they come back again and again. And they say, like I felt, like it was, they felt like it was their family. And it's kind of interesting because I found out when I was there that it's the only family-owned spa in North America. And what's really awesome is they stress taking some of the spa experience home with you, not just via products, though you can take... Um, they're like they have seasonings, this really yummy lemon pepper. They had a garlic seasoning and they're all salt free that they make there at the spa. You can buy, you can even buy them on their website and take that home. Some of the instructors have CDs and DVDs in the shop, but they actually give you the tools. So if you're back home and you feel yourself starting to slip, you can email the activities director for advice. If you feel like your diet is starting to be like, oh my gosh, all over the place again, <laughs> then you know, contact Christine. They are there to help you. It's not just the one-time thing. But I was so happy I got to take a little bit of my Oaks family home with me. And I hope you all get that same chance too. I'll see you next time. Bye.
Don't forget, you can shop the show and get the 411 on this episode at lifesaholiday.com. That's H O L L A D A Y.com. Meet Candy on Candy Holiday YouTube channel for more adventures. See you next holiday.